I'm now going to show you how to lock data to avoid accidental changes. So we can lock information on uh, wire numbers, terminals, component names and cables as well as the whole project. So uh, if we start with wire numbers, selecting a wire, showing the properties allows us to see if we can lock that number. If I select a whole group of wires, then I only need to select one part of it and I can lock the whole group. Um, so if this was handled by uh, plugging in and uh, um, direct connection between the reversing contactors, um, then when we run the wire numbering, if we generate that, we find that those have been locked, so no wires are actually assigned to that section there. Um, if we find a component and we double click or use the properties again, we can go down to the option there to say name is locked fully. And that means if that component is moved around, so if you move around for instance, this whole group here. Let's just move it around from that column into this one. We can see that this component here has changed to be saying it's in column one, but this device is locked. So it's still saying it's in column three, F0103. Um, so we can change information on a page basis, on single element data uh, basis, but in the standard uh, and advanced versions, we can also go into the database and we can use the editors. So we can bring up editor product, for instance. And in there we can see name locked according to setting. So that will change as we move things around. If we want to lock that down, we can select all items and then we can say lock fully. Um, if we wanted, we could also just filter and say everything on page two. So right click in the page number column, select page number two and just select those groups and lock those fully. Uh, we can do the same sort of thing for terminals and we can select whole groups, whole terminal strips by right clicking and selecting, or right click, remove the filter sort, select all groups and we can lock the name fully. So that means it's locked so that if anything gets moved on the page or changed around, the component names stay the same. And the same principle applies for cables and also for wires as well. So we can select whole groups by clicking on that top left hand corner and we can lock the wire information. Now as well as individual areas within the project we also have the option if we go all the way back to look at the project itself um, we also have the option to go right up to the project level right click on the project and choose information now normally this is where we put the project attributes but right down at the bottom is an option workspace locked and if that is locked when we click on yes it means that any changes that are made do seem to be made to the project but when we try and close down the project so right click and close save changes we can't you can't save the workspace because it's locked so it doesn't matter what you do in the project it's now safe and if nobody is aware of the fact that you have to go into the information and scroll all the way down here then it's something that will remain locked until you unlock it so many different ways of locking information within the project so it doesn't get changed, so that uh, wire numbers don't get assigned um, and information doesn't get adjusted as you play around with the project. So if it's important, you can lock it down.